that is true but it is also true that the declaration of principles clearly laid down what we are all here for which is to build an inclusive i repeat inclusive information society and the tunis agenda spoke about how ec was a process of global public policy making for that particular goal of inclusive society and uh, i think this is some fact some something that we can't afford to forget so i was slightly disturbed when chris uh, in his opening remark said uh, if i already have a domain name do i care and i think that is a problem with the igf that uh, and that's why it for change and 94 other individuals and institutions wrote a letter to the igf saying there's a big democratic deficit that we have in igf and that's why we find that people who already have domain names or who already have ip4 addresses other people are discussing issues here the 6 billion people who are not connected to the net are not here and by saying internet for all means the next billion for us we are probably saying that the last billion don't matter i come from india which has a very strong tradition of um, economics Uh, and right now we are in a project where we are setting up 100,000 public access points with public as well as private part participation so that internet can reach everybody and that comes through public policy and public investment i think that's something that the global forum has to take note of i'm very uh, happy with the remarks that the previous speakers have made and i think that shows some kind of a frustration that many of us have with the whole igf process and i'm saying it positively because if we ignore the frustration and we do business as usual then we will fall prey to the remarks of those who already are questioning the validity and the legitimacy of igf as an institution itself i, I by taking note of these concerns by establishing establish uh, enhanced cooperation as a meaningful process we can indeed hope to bring some meaning and life into igf we may do by doing that make sure that igf extends beyond 2010 but business as usual is going to be a very bad uh, way to go about it um, thank you can you give me can you give me one thing one thing that we could do yeah. that would help with that yeah. just one yeah i think that uh, there were suggestions in the morning as well the 2003 geneva summit uh, set up the wigig which is basically we knew that internet governance is such a complex area that we don't have any idea about it janet was a member of that and several other people as well and the wigig had people from various stakeholder groups came up with very innovative ideas on what internet governance could go about so i think as a part of the ec process igf can't be a once in a year that's event and that be for failure i think igf has to figure out apart from being a policy deliberating space in conjunction with the un in conjunction with other institutions that are already there look at setting up issue based uh, groups that can go into various naughty issues whether it is relating to cyber security whether it is relating to access and actually look at what are the issues in place what is the role of the market what is the role for public policy come out with documents the wiki report is a i think an excellent report a fantastic output come out with doc documents like that which will actually say for this particular issue we need itu and i can and uh, maybe undp sure. to work on and uh, take this process forward merely talking is not going to get us anywhere so what we're basically saying is we need enhanced cooperation in the igf to to make all this work there's a gentleman over here with his hand up i mean i've got you next gentleman there 